Ninjas. What is up? What is good? It's your boy Sub the Sabs. We're back again with a new video. Today we are going to be going over the Leo overview, gameplay, trailer, whatever you want to call it. If you guys don't know, I basically play the overview and then I get my thoughts on it. So, without further ado, let's fuck it up. Wait, but before this video begins, can we get five likes, please? That way, that way, I know you guys want to see more of this content on the channel. And if you do like my content and if you're new, make sure to subscribe. I do funny game content I mean, basically almost every time. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday. So without further ado, let's fuck it up. Leo is an all-rounder, with a varied arsenal including a projectile, an anti-air move, and more. He can unleash a fierce offense from his stance as he turns his back on the opponent. Graviette Word Leo sends out a projectile that flies forward, hitting multiple times. Since it hits more than once, it can cancel out the opponent's single-hit projectiles and continue forward. The Slash version has fast startup and can be used in combos at close range. Although the Heavy Slash version has longer startup, it has more hits, meaning you can keep the opponent locked down longer. Eisen Sturm An attack with invincibility on startup. The Heavy Slash version deals higher damage, but has longer recovery. Since Leo leaps upward as he attacks, it works well against airborne opponents. Also, you can make use of invincibility frames by using this move on your wake up or during the opponent's offense to turn the tides. Urs Kaltes Gestuber Leo lunges forward a slight distance as he attacks. This move knocks the opponent down on hit. The fast startup makes this a good choice as a poke or in combos. Swaites Caldez Gestuber Leo lunges forward a good distance as he attacks. Since he can move through to the other side of the opponent, they may need to change the direction of their block. If Leo passes through the opponent, he ends the move in Brinehilder's stance. Turbulence Leo moves forward a short distance as he attacks. This attack knocks the opponent down on hit. If you hold the button down, Leo will go into Brinehilder's stance. Brinehilder's stance. Leo takes a stance with his back to his opponent. He can go into the stance from a set number of moves. Although you can use a variety of powerful attacks only while in Brinehilder's stance, you cannot perform other actions such as jumping or blocking. Try using this move when you're going on the offense. Con Shield A counter move allowing Leo to absorb the opponent's attacks. If you absorb an attack at close range, Leo will perform a counter attack. This move also works against projectiles, either reflecting or absorbing them. Leo remains in Brian Hilder's stance after this move. As Leo is vulnerable to throws, be careful when using this while in the opponent's throw range. Cleanse and Dunkel Leo lunges forward with a command grab that has great range. It deals more damage than a standard throw and cannot be teched. If you hold the button down, Leo will remain in Brian Hiller's stance after the grab lands. Blitz Schlag An attack that makes the opponent crumple. If you hold the button down, Leo will remain in Brian Hiller's stance after the attack. This move has long startup, but it leaves Leo at the advantage when blocked, making it a great option at close range. Cancel. Leo drops the Brian Hilder stance. Stall Werble. Leo sends out an extremely fast and powerful projectile. The projectile comes out quickly and travels fast, so it can be used to punish a vulnerable opponent from a distance. Liedenstaff Dirigent. Leo performs a series of powerful attacks with invincibility on startup. You can make use of the invincibility frames and fast startup by using this move in combos or to interrupt the opponent's offense. His standing far slash and standing heavy slash attacks work well as pokes. His heavy slash attacks can cancel into his slash attacks, opening up his offensive options. 
When you get in on the opponent, mix them up with Zwight, Kaltis, Gestuber, and go into Brinehilder's stance. While in his stance, you can surprise the opponent with either the low kick attack or the overhead heavy slash attack. Kun Shield can shut down the opponent's attempts at taking their turn back. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> Holy shit. Okay. I have a friend that plays Leo, and I hate fighting that character. And this trailer just just gave me more of a reason to hate fighting this character. His um, his stance, his back turn cancel, his back turn stance. That shit's a lot faster now. He has a two hitting projectile. He has a he has a DP. His DP looks like he does more damage now. Uh, he has good as normals. And that projectile is good. I said that. But I, this character is like gonna be a problem. He looks he looks like he's gonna be a good ass character. That, when I say he's going to be a problem, I mean he's probably going to be a good-ass character. Leo looks like he's going to be a good-ass character. I hope they don't nerf him during the the beta or after the beta when the game finally launches because he looks good. I want him to be good. I just don't want him to be oppressive. I, that's that's something I don't want. I don't feel like blocking. I, I don't want to block. I paid six ninety nine to play the game. I don't want to. I don't want to block the entire game. I don't want to hold one button for the entire match. Anyways, that's it, Ningen. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you enjoyed. If you're new, consider subscribing. I'll catch y'all in later. Two bang bitches.